And now, to Pete Evans. I never wanted to be famous or that, you know, and I could very easily disappear. I could very easily disappear, you know? Some people would like me to disappear, no doubt, and uh, I'll just make this one statement. If I disappear or I have a frickin' weird accident, it wasn't an accident, okay? That was just one of the many bizarre moments from his interview last night on 960 Minutes. The celebrity chef turned conspiracy theorist has been largely panned by politicians, health professionals and media, especially his thoughts on the coronavirus and science. Are you deeply suspicious? <laughs> oh, that's a good one too. Um, hmm. I am sceptical and I also am suspicious because history has shown us that, I mean, even science... And you know this as a fact. Science has been bought by vested interests in so many different fields. All I'm saying is, sometimes what we've learned isn't always the truth. Evans followed through with his earlier promise to post the full unedited interview, which he did at the precise moment the story was going to air. <laughs> Robbo, what do you make of all this? Oh, look, you know, I don't actually mind um, Pete Evans and these kind of conspiracy theorists. I don't mind it because it's fun to listen to them. That's all it is. It's just fun, isn't it? Like, uh, you know, there is so much evidence out there that doesn't support what they're saying. And what, what they're asking us to do is take this massive leap of faith. They've got no backup to it, no cold, hard backup. Uh, so I just look at it as entertainment. But it can be dangerous, though, for people who do actually believe in it. There was another guy in that story last night uh, who basically told everyone to smash their TVs, and a lot of people did. And they mm. filmed it and then sent it back to the, really? the site. So obviously that's fine. You want to smash up your television, that's all right. You can do whatever you want. Uh, okay. My microphone is not behaving. It's probably a conspiracy. Oh. They're probably trying to shut us down. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They don't want us to talk about it. Uh, it's 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 fun, but it can get dangerous. But they've got no they've got no evidence. There is no evidence to back up their claims. I think the thing is, I don't mind hearing alternative views. There was a lot of um, controversy, Joe, about the fact sixty minutes aired he, the interview with him. I've got to say, my main takeaway from this was: is Peter Evans okay? Like, I'm really worried about the guy. See, it's interesting, and I have to declare here, my daughter is in the same class as his daughter at school, so right. I, I, I'm not in a position where, you know, I, I, I interestingly, the take home for me was that 60 minutes, what is going on? I didn't feel the promo match what was delivered again. Um, I felt mm. like it was such a tabloid promo. Of course, they were going to use that little piece to camera where he says, you know, if I'm well, that's going to Hansen disappear. Moment. Absolutely, and they did it with the Kyle moment. They've been doing it repeatedly, and the story doesn't match. And I was left two things with 60 Minutes. I was left very disappointed about the interview. I didn't feel like Liz went where she needed to go with Pete, and I'm genuinely interested from Pete. Okay, so if he says that possibly he's going to go missing because other people in position have, she needed to then press forward and say, okay, well, well, who? Can you give me an example? Give me names, dates, times. Yes. I didn't feel like she pressed him on that. When you talked, Robbo, exactly what you said, uh, other scientists, people who have spent years, if not a lifetime, studying uh, these diseases or COVID or whatever it is he doesn't believe in. Uh, I wanted to know from him, OK, so what do you say to someone who has spent years with a medical degree and several science degrees in a lab? Yeah. How can you possibly have the same amount of knowledge? And, and for him to explain that, I wanted to hear what saying, he had to say. He was there saying, I might be wrong. Well, why are you sprouting this stuff if you don't have evidence? You know, like, you're, you're putting fear but in people. You're just trusting science. Opinion. Yeah, he is. But I think we have a right to question. And I think a healthy sure. dose, dose of scepticism when it comes to the world around us is, is actually not a bad thing. And if that's Pete's stance... That's fine. I, I draw the line when he's trying to make money out of it. And I don't think they even went there yeah, unless I missed yeah. it at the very beginning. Well, we didn't Did talk they, about the light machine. Was, yeah, she didn't ask, were you trying to make money? Was the, You know, like, so that was left unaddressed as well. Um, and just on a, a completely by the by, but the second story on 60 Minutes last night was, should have been the leading story. It was a very important story about that poor baby that uh, was left brain damaged yeah. after gas the wrong gas and the reforms that are going to happen because of that incident, that was the more important story. 
uh, that 60 Minutes, I think, should have been trumpeting. But in relation to Pete, I just think he's entitled to his views. 60 Minutes was the one here uh, airing it in the wrong way. Yep, That's how I felt about it. It's the Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Shen, Rob and Rob.